Yeah, I am. Sorry about that. This finishes today's stroll in the woods looking for mushrooms. And I have no idea about this fella here. Actually, I do, but I'm not going to say until I get a book and get whoops. I'm breaking it up, darn it. This one here, I'm quite sure, is a bitter bolete, non edible. That one there, I'm not positive which bolete it is. I know it's a bolete. See the staining already where it got damaged lugging it out here? I didn't have a basket, I had this bag, and which isn't the I wouldn't, you know, for one, you, you never mix mushrooms. If you're out picking, especially if you're picking and you're going to eat some and you're, you're not sure what they are, don't put something in that basket. You know, at least bring different bags to put them in and separate them. Because you could have a poisonous one and an edible one, which I don't believe that is. I don't know. Together, now you have made that, so I wouldn't eat it. Anyway, I'll do an update on the spore prints. Okay, make a spore print. From as near as I understand it, you remove the stem of the mushroom. You turn it over, and you put it on a, well, I've heard to use white and black. I've heard a piece of glass works well. But anyway, I'm going to set this one on this one, cut the stem off. This one on this one. The reason to use black paper, if you have a Hoyt spore print, it shows up, and I've heard glass works very well. Ah, uh, no, I don't have a piece of glass. I'll have to get some and try that. But we'll come back tomorrow morning. We'll lift these off and we'll have a look, and we'll see if this was successful or not. I believe that's a bitter belief. That's the one that stains that you had not to eat. Although some that stain, I, let's just forget I said that. We'll shut this off and tomorrow morning we'll come back and see what they look like. Just a quick look. That's what they look like. And tomorrow morning we'll be back. You can see where I cut the stalk off that, that, that one. Boy did that stain. That one I broke off in the woods so I have it with me. But anyway, we'll, look, we'll check in later. Yep, it's recording. Good morning, this is part three of making spore prints. We went, we collected them yesterday. That is a bitter bolete, not edible. That's, I believe, a staining bolete. I looked it up last night. Oh, look at that. Ooh, this one's... That one really didn't leave much of a spore. That one did. Uh, and that one didn't. I don't know if it's the paper I used, but that one did, certainly did there. Well, that's. I'm going to try a piece of glass. This one I'm going to pitch because it's getting a little foul. Along with this one, it's nothing I want. See how that changed overnight from being picked. Um, they're again, they're not edible, and I don't know what that one is for sure. Um, certainly dried out, but maybe I put it on there the wrong way. I don't know. But that one definitely made a nice spore print. Well, thanks for watching, and that's, I guess, how you do it.